Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys today? You guys, I am so excited to be back today because today we are back with yet another shiny reaction. You guys, today we're actually moving on to our next album listen, which is titled One of One. Now, for those of you who may not know, this album does contain nine songs, one of which I have already heard, which is one of one so that leaves us with eight songs left to listen to now i will be honest and say that i actually have heard bits and pieces of prism however i haven't heard the song in its entirety and all the other songs that are on the album i haven't actually had any like knowledge about previous to this at all so i am going into this album kind of like blind but not really i am actually really really excited about this album though because one of one had like this really fun and like retro-y concept to it so i'm excited to see if the rest of the songs follow suit or if i'm gonna get something completely different because let's be real sometimes it does and sometimes i get a whole like 180 so i have no idea what is about to happen however i do know that when i looked up most of these songs different life stages also popped up and one in particular i'm a little like curious about only because We'll talk about it when I get there. And yeah, you guys. So, for those of you who don't know, as I re- uh, what? So, as I stated previously, this album does contain eight songs, but unfortunately because YouTube has like really strict copyright rules, I won't be able to listen to them all in one go, so I will have to split this up in two parts, which means we'll have four songs now and then four songs later. And the first four songs in which we're listening to are going to be Prism, Feel Good, Don't Let Me Go, and then Lipstick. Lipstick is the one I'm curious about, but... I'm gonna save my questions for when we get to the song and yeah you guys let's go ahead and get everything set up let's make sure that we are recording that we are good to go and we are gonna start with prism now again this is a song in which i have heard like bits and pieces of however i haven't heard the entire song but from what i heard i actually really enjoy it so i'm mean, curious just to see like what it's about and yeah i don't know i don't know you guys but yeah let's go ahead and do this i'm ready i'm prepared these photos are gorgeous oh my god blonde minho was a blessing oh my god we gotta see it at least one more time please please and thank you and yeah anyway let's go ahead and do this i'm excited i'm prepared <sighs> okay <laughs> let's go okay <laughs> Oh, I love the way he said Violet. So cute. <laughs> I love how it just it, it like it builds up into like the main part and I like I like that like that it really good right here. Oh, <laughs> 
it all away and all you get to hear was the piano and Jinky's voice and then everyone kind of like came in and then the beat came back in oh that was beautiful <laughs> Yes, I went into the song knowing like like portions of it here and there because I didn't actually get to listen to it in its entirety and I'm actually kind of happy about that because oh my god there were so many different just teeny tiny aspects like we got blends of like EDM but then we had like this like old school like almost like hip hoppy vibe that was placed into the background and then we had that beautiful fucking piano and there were there were just so many different musical elements that were placed into this and it just it synced so well and let's talk about the lyrics for a second because the lyrics were actually really really cute and the way that i'm interpreting them is that basically you're so infatuated with someone like they're basically lighting up your life with those what was that was that was that, an, was that english was that words i don't know which is really really nice to like have someone like light up your life like that and like to bring different colors and different things and to you know your eyelashes paint my heart and things it's just it's really cute and it's kind of corny and i actually really really like it because like i'm a corny person and yeah i, I don't know i don't know you guys it, it was just it was a nice blend of musical elements and vocals and just lyrics it was a very really just nice sandwich yeah yeah that's what i meant to say <laughs> i don't know i actually really really like this one so i'm excited to see what else is on this album because like my standards are now kind of like you know they're like right here and i want to see what else happens and yeah so you guys let's go ahead and go to the next song the next song in which we are listening to is titled feel good oh these are different photos oh these <gasps> these are these are different photos where's my water I feel like I have like dried like pe peanut butter stuck in my throat. Oh my god! What is Shogun doing? Oh no, I can see his knee. No, no, Shh, it's fine. You guys, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go with feel good. Okay, okay. Okay, first of all, I thought we were gonna get like, like just like a, a beat drop or something, and it didn't. It just went. Okay, I, I really. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Shh, tell me.
second. What? I went from being teary-eyed to being really confused. What? Okay. Oh my god, freaking Jiggy's voice sounds so good. Okay. I love this like this like EDM build up. You guys, you guys know I love EDM. This this is this is this is for me. You guys can't say that while looking like that. No. Vocal, the, the, the blended together and Ooh, okay. Okay. I feel a dance break here. I can feel it. Okay. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, thank God it's over. Oh, I, I couldn't handle them saying I could make you feel good anymore because that, that was a lot to handle. Um, um, so, look. I've, I've, I've been trying to get better at not jumping straight to certain interpretations. I've been trying because you know what? Sometimes, sometimes the lyrics don't mean the things in which you think they mean. However, I don't think these are super wholesome lyrics, um, but that may just that may just be me. Um, so I'm I'm trying to like interpret the song in a way that. Oh, that was loud, you guys! It's dinner time. Shh. But um, I'm having like some struggles because the way that I'm seeing this song is them telling whoever the person may be. Um, that you know what? 
they can make them feel good they can give them a good time you know whether that be one way or another i mean they can they can be like that person for them and you know what there's nothing wrong with being that person for someone i'm just putting that out there um but again i don't know if i'm interpreting it right <laughs> but you guys no okay aside from like the super sus and you know <laughs> lyrics the guys the vocals the vocals were so good i mean it's it's honestly it's ridiculous each song you listen to it just becomes more and more clear that their vocals are top tier like it's it's honestly a little ridiculous not only that but again just these different beats and it's just what what is happening in this album i i was not expecting this i was expecting something slightly different and i feel like you know like i said my expectations were kind of high but i feel like they're like they were not high enough apparently because holy shit <laughs> you guys what is happening i'm really hoping that has a live stage because i do feel like there's a really good dance break in there um hopefully it's not like a you know dance break dance break um because we've been there already we've done that i don't need to see any more of them um but i, I just i'm curious yeah let me know because i want to watch it because i actually enjoy this song and i want to know what happens in a live stage and yeah you guys anyway let's go ahead and move to the next song you guys the next song in which you are listening to is don't let me go oh my god there's more photos oh my god Okay, first of all, Jungkook, you look great in a suit. You, what is Kibum doing? Why is he looking at me like that? What is Jinky doing? Why is he, with his... fucking, but I feel stressed. Okay, Shh, it's fine. It's fine, you guys. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. Whew. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Why does that why does that 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 sound familiar? Dun, 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 dun. Have I heard it in a movie maybe? That sounds familiar. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. It sounds really familiar. I can't figure it Oh, wait. Hold on, I got, I got, I don't, I got days for a second. Hold on. What? But it's like, it's masked with like, almost a cheerful like song because I'm I'm still hearing that. I'm still hearing that like in the back of my head, so it's almost as if like my brain is is a little confused on which way like it's supposed to lean. Is it supposed to lean towards the side in which like it feels slightly bright, or the side in which it's slightly like more sorrow? And I. Sor sorrow? S sorrow. What? I don't know where he's I'm a 
Hold on a second. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting at all to become emotionally attached to a song, much less feel a certain amount of sorrow because of it. I don't know, it was just, it was a beautiful song, don't get me wrong. Again, it was laced in something that seemed very happy and almost peaceful in a way and yet the lyrics told almost a different story it told a story of loss and you know when I'm, I'm trying to find like the best like analogy to kind of like compare it to and my brain is kind of like blanking at the current moment the only thing that I can really think of is you know parting ways with someone in which you care deeply about and in your mind you paint this picture of words you paint this picture of them a picture in which you want to cherish forever but as time passes and you don't still see them it begins to fade because you know that memory it just it begins to just kind of almost crumble in a way because there's nothing there now to replace it and you're just kind of like holding on to what's left of it and it's it's actually very very heartbreaking and kind of sad and look I don't know if I'm interpreting this correctly this is just my brain kind of like spinning its own little wheel and I'm finding something sad but yet nice and I don't know I don't know how I really feel about it other than yeah so <laughs> uh, hopefully that made sense and yeah you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking I mean you guys the message was beautiful it was sad but it was still beautiful the vocals were exquisite and the melody it was just I felt again I felt very peaceful listening to it so I'm happy all around with it no matter how it made me feel and yeah <laughs> anyway you guys let's go to the next song <laughs> so the next song on our list which is actually the last song in this part which you're gonna listen to um, it's gonna be lipstick now this is a live stage that I have questions about because I saw just 
the thumbnail and they had the lipstick everywhere. Why do they have the lipstick everywhere? Is there something I'm missing? Will it be explained in the song? Oh my god, the photos. Oh my god. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay. You guys, let's do this with lipstick. Let's go. Okay. Can't handle piano. You gotta, you gotta wrap that up, man. there's just something different about it that I can't quite place and honestly I've been thinking about it more and more lately and it's it's kind of like amazing to me but I honestly I see bits and pieces of their voices within his and it just I think that's why I love it so much because anytime I hear him sing I'm reminded of all of them and I feel like that's something that like added into my like overbearing affection does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me so yeah <laughs> but you guys i'm gonna rewind a second because what Shh, it's fine Okay. Oh. 
So, <laughs> so I was interpreting it one way, but then I got a little confused by the end of it. Um, so I I don't feel like I understood like the gist of the song, and maybe that's on purpose. Maybe it is something like you have to like see the live stage of just to kind of like put two and two together. Maybe I don't actually know, but the way that I was like initially just visualizing everything as is seeing someone that you genuinely care about and like wanting to like have like the same lipstick shade as them because it just it's something that connects you like it's something that like almost like this color looks amazing on them and I want it because that 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 would like bridge us just a little bit but I don't I don't think that's necessarily right so I'm I'm slightly confused <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, maybe this one is up for like vast interpretation. Maybe not. I don't. I don't know. Regardless of that, I actually did really like like the like old school just like vibe that it had to it. I'm actually enjoying all of this album so far because it every song has just some sort of like old school retro just throwback to it. I'm actually like living for it and i mean honestly you guys i i'm actually really really happy with what we have so far i'm not gonna lie though honestly going into this album it felt a little bittersweet and i do honestly feel as if it may have showed during my reaction and if it did i apologize about that i was just thought processing like the future videos and i let it affect this one so i do apologize if you guys could sense that and yeah um hopefully the second part will be better if not i don't know what to tell you hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this with me i'm actually really enjoying this album so far i am living for like that retro just almost like not 70s not 80s not 90s just a mixture of them all and this like soft like r&b edm-esque b i don't even know what to call it on top of like the beautiful, 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 that, that's, that's where we went, beautiful vocals, that's what I was trying to say, on top of the beautiful, I can't say it, on top of the beautiful vocals, it's just, it's a masterpiece, and I am just really excited to see what else this album has for me, and yeah, um, again, hopefully you guys enjoy watching this with me, I can't wait to hear the rest of it, hopefully you guys, hope, hope what, hopefully, Hopefully you guys are having a good day or night depending on where you are in the world and of course when you see this video please know that I love you very very much and um I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye. What? Bye. Peace. Bye. I, I, I don't I don't know. Bye. <laughs>